Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here on WILK 1025 in the morning. Continuing the conversation right now with Mid-Valley as we talk about the softball team. Michael Piercy, the head coach. And coach, we've got a couple more young ladies to get to today. Uh, Emily Moreno, uh, let's talk a little bit about her. Sure. So Emily Moreno, um, she's been with us for four years and, and a heck of an athlete. Um, last year, she was first team all conference in soccer, basketball and softball. Um, she played outfield for us last year. We had a need at infield this year. I, I knew she'd be able to handle it. So she's our starting shortstop this year. And, and she's been one of our uh, heavy hitters. She's hitting over 550, four home runs. I mean, she uh, the kid could really do it all. And, and just as far as toughness and leadership, um, She's just a, a very tough kid. No situation is too big for her. And, um, you know, she leads by example. She works hard at practice. And like I said earlier, the, the younger kids see this, and it, it rubs off on everybody. All right. Senior Emily Morano here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, Emily, talk a little bit about the, uh, the, the people before you that have laid the foundation for leadership and now what you're doing with the younger players. Hi. Um, oh, our seniors last year, um, Lauren Owens and Mia Pavelski, they really showed us how to um, put together a team and just how it's supposed to be run, how seniors are supposed to let everybody know what's going on, yell how many outs, make sure that everybody knows what's going on so that you don't have those little mistakes that lose you games. Uh, three sports, basketball, soccer. Uh, is softball your favorite? Um, basketball is my favorite right now. I think I'm going to go to – I'm definitely going to Kings, and I'm definitely going to play basketball, and I think I'm going to end up playing softball too. Yeah, well, uh, you'll follow the footsteps of uh, a couple other young ladies, inclu- including uh, the young lady from Hazleton who's doing that now, doing the basketball and softball. I'm sure you got to meet some of those girls, and uh, Kings is, uh, has done a nice job. What was it that attracted you to Kings? Uh, was it the ability to possibly play both sports? Yeah, definitely. And um, I definitely want to say close to home just so that my family members could come and watch play my games because they're a big – they're big supporters of mine, and I have to have them at my games just so I can play well. Academics, good there. You're doing well there. Uh, 18th in your class. Uh, chemistry, one of your favorite subjects. So talk about the, the program you're, you're thinking about there at Kings. Yeah, definitely. I have a great um, advanced chemistry teacher, Dr. Bonick. He teaches me everything I know. And I'm going to go to Kings and go into biochemistry. So they kind of link up biochemistry. Uh, chemistry is my favorite subject right now. So doing well in school, and hopefully that will transfer over to college. Uh, you got a couple siblings, Alex, Marley. Tell us about them. Yeah, Alex and Marley, they come to all my games and stuff. Marley's starting up softball now. She's only eight. And it's cool going to her games, and she's so excited to watch me play, and she gets so happy when I go to her games. My brother's in track. I watch him run. And it's just nice to see that they're involved as, in sports just as much as I am. All right. And talk about your dad as a role model. Uh, my dad. Um, he's my biggest role model. He supports me in any way possible. If I have a great game, he's there to congratulate me. If I don't have a good game, he's there to give me pointers. Just help me out any way he could. He's always there at every single one of my games. Has never missed a game of mine. And it means a lot to me that he's there and that he's going to be able to watch all my games at Kings. How about the fun uh, with the team overall? Uh, just just bonded out one last time. This, uh, this time's going by quickly. Uh, but what would you like to do in the next few weeks there at Mid-Valley? Um, I'd like to get, win every game possible, go all the way. Um, during team or during our team practices, we'll have team bonding where we'll sit in a circle, we'll talk, just get closer to each other. After the games, we'll go and have a Spartan social, go get ice cream at Nina's. And uh, it's just cool getting close with all the girls, and we'll get close with the baseball team. And it's just nice having a community that's close. All right, Emily. Well, great to catch up with you again. <laughs> we wish you the very best, okay? Thank you. All right. Uh, let's uh, move along back over to Coach Piercy. One more young lady to talk to today about Mid-Valley. Mackenzie Mitchko. Coach, uh, tell us about her. All right. Yeah, Mackenzie Mitchko. So she this will be her third year starting for us. Um, she, she's an unbelievable pitcher. And, and if you ask me, I think she's probably the most underrated pitcher in the area. Um, she's not a high strikeout pitcher. And, and I know that gets a lot of attention when kids are striking out, you know, 10, 12 kids a game. But, I mean, what she does is, you know, she keeps runs from scoring. You know, a lot of times, you know, five, six hits get scattered throughout the game. But, um, you know, there's not a lot of hard contact with McKenzie. She mixes in and out. She changes speed. Um, and just she's just the model of consistency. It's been three years of this, and she just keeps kids off balance. And, you know, I couldn't be uh, more proud of her. And and then especially as a, in the leadership role, too, I mean, She's a kid. She she comes early to practice. She makes sure the dugout's clean, you know. So it's um, it's rare when you have one of your you know top star players who's also such a great role model and um, does all the little things correctly. 
All right, let's welcome in Mackenzie Mitchko here on the Job and Dola Show. Uh, Mackenzie, senior year, uh, you're a pitcher. Uh, you got a lot on your shoulders, but you're doing a great job. Uh, talk a little bit about, uh, hey, it's finally here, senior year. Time goes by quickly. Are you having fun with this group of girls? Yeah, I am. It's fun to play with them. I've been with them for, like, such a long time and playing with them. So our bond's, like, super great. You feel like, you know, you got to have uh, pretty good nerves, I guess, when you're out there on the pitching mound. Uh, uh, do you feel like you have that and you're in a zone when you're out there? Um, when I'm pitching, I kind of just – I forget about everything else and like leave everything out on the field. I just go out and do what I have to do for my team. Awesome. You got a younger brother, David. Uh, talk a little bit about him. Um, me and him have a great relationship. He's always at my games to support me, always cheering me on, even if I do bad, you know. In the classroom, uh, anatomy is something that you really enjoy. How is that going to kind of roll over into the college life? Um, I'm going to major in biology and hopefully expand on from there. That's definitely something I want to do. Talk about the, the college you selected and, and why you selected it. Um, I knew I wanted to play at that next level, so I went out and um, just did what I could to get there. Um, when I walked onto campus, I knew it, like that's where I wanted to be. I felt at home there. I fell in love with the uh, school and right. everything. And Concordia College is where you're going to go. How about your relationship with your mom and dad? Um, they're my biggest role models. Um, they help me through everything. Um, I don't know. They just they just help. A lot of rides, I'm sure, places, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do so much. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Mackenzie, well, best of luck going forward, okay? Thank you yeah. so much. All right, you got it. Mackenzie, Mitchko, hanging out with her friends and having a good time. And Coach Piercy, I want to thank you for bringing the ladies in today. All right, John, we really appreciate it, and uh, we appreciate everything you do for baseball and softball and getting these kids the recognition they deserve. So uh, just a big thank you to, to you guys. All right, very kind. Thank you. Michael Piercy and Mid-Valley, the Pitts and Area softball team is going to shuffle on in here next. We're going to talk about the Cross Invitational Track and Field Meet. That's coming up uh, today, so uh, we'll get you some information on that if you'd like to head out and uh, a nice little invitational going on uh, today down in uh, Plains. So uh, we'll, we'll get to that coming up. You can pick a, a copy of our baseball softball Ball magazine. I want to thank our friends at Rooney's Equipment located in Susquehanna County. Scarfalatos in Honesdale, the YMCA, the Greater Carbondale YMCA. Also want to thank our friends at AJ's Bar there in Carbondale as well. Beston's Auto Body located right there uh, in Carbondale. Chris, big supporters of the Lakeland Chiefs baseball program. And our friends at uh, all our State Farm insurance agents, McCarthy Tire locations, Ravello's Pizza in Old Forge, our Carol and Janelle in Old Forge, Athletic Republic locations in Music and in Dallas, and Manuka Subaru. It's all we do located there in the Manuka section of Scranton. Let's head on out our local State Farm insurance agent, Jen Ricky. Break like a good neighbor. Jen Ricky and Dunmore is there. We'll be back in WILK.